It's time to kill the rap game for a second time I'm doing drive-bys in a Tesla, that's an electric slide I look the devil dead in his eyes like I ain't scared to die But damn sure ain't scared to go to war with a bullet Hip-hop was nigga, the Afro beats and all the other shit was taking rain Hip-hop had to have his moment like, wait a minute I'm still big, dog. Over this up with so many assaults with that apology. <laughs> All right. He did to himself. No. I'm going to shoot my shot. Bo gave up his spot now. Can't say you top five if you scared to be hostile. I remember feeling your pain when you let Nas down, but you didn't let Boz down and Kaz down. You didn't let the squad down. Every relationship ain't worth the risk of jumping into business with everybody. Because mm -hmm. it's like, you can really f with a nigga like you my homie. So it's like we f with it as homies. Now we start doing business together. I got to hold you accountable. Yeah. Do your role yeah. as a businessman. And when you're not doing that, it's f***ing up the business. I got to call you out. Now that's f***ing up our relationship. Yeah. So it's like sometimes I'd rather just keep it as the homie. I don't want to get no money with Yeah, you. yeah. it's going to f*** up our relationship. Nah, I got plenty of relationships like that. You know what I mean? You don't always want to do business with people. Yeah. It's, it's, it's profitable being a good mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, sometimes people want to kick it with a nigga that they know don't need nothing from them. Mm -hmm. And then that turns into something. Right. You know what I mean? But everybody ain't, um, how could I say it? Everybody ain't detained enough with self to not, like, entertain their own greed. Mm. So it's like, a nigga asks a billionaire for some money. Mm-hmm. It's the dumbest thing you could do. What the f*** you gonna ask a billionaire for some money for? Now, in his mind, one plus one equals two. This nigga got money, I need some, so let me ask for it. Right. It, it realistically, it's like, bruh, this nigga, I could start a business to where you really could become mm -hmm. bigger than this 10 grand you asking them for. Right. No, it's like, you need that. If you want money, ask for advice first. You know what I mean? So the whole idea at first is like, yo, we running this play. Can you give us some advice on it? I want y'all to take a look on it. Mm -hmm. Of course, that always turns into, I'd rather give you money than mm -hmm. advice. Exactly. I like what the f*** you doing. You know what I'm saying? But it's 100% true. I'd rather it be a bigger play. Yeah. Right? But we already got, of course, all our ducks in a row. We're going to come to somebody like that because they're mm -hmm. going to vet it. Exactly. You feel me? But most people, if you ask them for money, most of the time it's too small. Right? With a billionaire, they don't want to go through all of that to cut you a check for a hundred thousand dollars a million, yeah. a million. Yeah. man it gotta be big money big. you know what i mean if you they that's how they know you on a level you gotta ask for something big a person would rather buy into a vision because the risk is worth it mm. rather than a sure play that may net them 2x it ain't worth the risk, it ain't worth the risk. what the fuck they gonna do with that they wipe their ass with that they I, they'd the rather risk. put in on a risk and be like this might be a billion dollar play this yeah. is worth the risk this yeah. is what i get money for yeah the other stuff it ain't even big enough to ask. That's what I've been learning with my relationships. Like, every, every relationship ain't worth the risk of jumping into business with everybody. Because mm -hmm. it's like, you can really f*** with a nigga like you my homie. So it's like, we f*** with it as homies. Now we start doing business together. I got to hold you accountable. Yeah. Do your role yeah. as a businessman. And when you're not doing that, it's f***ing up the business. I got to call you out. Now that's f***ing up our relationship. Yeah. So it's like, sometimes I'd rather just keep it. As the homie, I don't want to get no money with Yeah, you. yeah. Because it's going to fuck up our relationship. Nah, I got plenty of relationships like that. You know what I mean? You don't always want to do business with people. Yeah. People act different when they in business with you. Fact. You know what I mean? Sometimes they, I didn't have people apologize. They was tripping. I'm like, I know you was tripping. I'm mm -hmm. never tripping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you was definitely tripping. But it's, it's when money get involved, right? People start counting every penny. Then they start getting paranoid and it's like, nah, Money I ain't f one. Everything good, bro. Some people I can have good business relationships with because, number one, we trust each other and we just, it's just a camaraderie there. It's a respect mm -hmm. level. Like, even working with like Rashad and EYL and them, that's an easy relationship, mm -hmm. right? Because we don't mind calling each other on stuff and we ain't gonna never take nothing personal. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But if you ain't got that kind of peer to peer relationship with somebody to where y'all even respect each other, you may disrespect them and not know. You may say something and they be like, he talking to me like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But mm -hmm. we don't mind checking each other. You feel me? His resources only go as far as they went in life. Mm. 
You know what I mean? So it's like if a nigga ain't left the block, what the fuck he tell you about business? That's a fact too. You know what I mean? Well, so, the thinking that he can tell you something about yeah. would be the problem. <laughs> that, that's the craziest thing to me. Like, I, like I had a uh, I had a homie, bro. Or tell me uh, I shouldn't hang with somebody that he don't like because he don't like him, mm. right? And I said, bro, this is the rap business, yeah. the entertainment business. This ain't the streets. Mm -hmm. This it does a service for me. Now, unless you finna provide the service yeah. and do it better than him, what the f is you telling me not to hang with somebody because you don't like him? Yeah. When you didn't hung with who didn't rob me before. Damn. We ain't going to talk about that. Right? <laughs> well, I ain't look at it like that. I bet you didn't. <laughs> you only now, looking at it from perspective. your perspective. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, this nigga ain't my friend. Yeah. It's a nigga I'm in business with. We homies. Yeah. So I call you. We talk sports, chop hoes. Woo, 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 woo. I don't talk to this nigga about none of that. Mm -hmm. I talk to this nigga, bro. Did you do such and such, such and such? Cool. I'm supposed to listen to you for. It also goes into that we take things too personal, yeah. right? Is and you look at other coaches, they can hate each other, handshake and do business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, they can. It can be two presidents at war with each other having a civil conversation. You know what I mean? We do that in the culture. You take a picture with somebody that is from the opposing side, and they be like, "Oh, you sold out? What you doing?" Exactly. Or it's like you meet a politician that. We know that we against. What you what you think? I'm gonna curse them out when I meet them. Mm. It's still gonna be civil discourse. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's how civil people move and mm -hmm. operate throughout the world. You feel me? That's how gangsters move. Mm -hmm. They still meet and talk about what's going on, and like, you know, it may be funk afterwards, but the conversation is a civil at that moment. You mm -hmm. always have these meeting places. And we haven't learned that higher level of operation. Yeah. And we take things so emotional, right? And so the way we start filtering the way everybody else do things is through emotions. Like, no, this is strategy. I should be able to move in any room that I want to, especially if it's aligned with my strategy. Now, Straight if it up. don't make sense and I'm doing stuff that's out of pocket, like, why are you there? Exactly. You ain't got a logical reason for Just why right you're there. Here. Then, yeah, I can, I can see you checking me on that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But I can be there to gather intel. Straight up. You feel me? I can be there to understand the operations and the inner workings Versus be complaining about something, and it was really my knowledge gap. But that you was talking the issue. about you talking about niggas that don't fear growth. Mm. A lot of niggas fear growing up. Mm. A lot of niggas like want to live off their girl. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't want to do nothing. Yeah, that's heavy. That's like, dirty. I, I know niggas dirty. that want me to pay them to be a friend. That's dirty. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, bro, nigga, gotta do something. Yeah, you gotta bring something to the table. So it's it's just up man but it's like all we could do is do our part you know what i'm saying and it ain't going let's like pox said it ain't gonna change the world but a nigga might spark the mind of the one who do so it's like all we gotta do is play our part as far as like you just said obtaining information and giving it to our people mm -hmm. you know what i mean so the information is there it's just like you just said a lot of information in them books which one of us gonna go pick that up and read it yeah information right there though that's you know the I mean? different levels of sacrifice right. that people don't understand it's like it's like learning ain't always no it ain't a fun thing to do but it's a sacrifice mm -hmm. and in latin sacrifice is meaning to make sacred so you make that time sacred now that i'm spending it on something that's worthy yep. right if i know something it's because i sacrificed some time to go learn it Right. I'll be learning stuff that's sometimes boring as hell to me, Man. but I know it's a sacrifice because now that I know I can give it out. Fact. You feel me? But if I don't make the sacrifice and nobody do, and especially somebody like me that speaks the language of the people yeah. to where I can break it down in simplicity and yeah. making sure we on point, then it doesn't happen at all. Because the people that do make that sacrifice, they don't even know you no. and they don't care about you. And they definitely ain't going to break it down. They to not going to tell ever. you. Not at all. They're they not going to tell you. That's why I like. I, every time I get some information, I call this. I call this nigga. I call my other homie. I used to call everybody. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But then I start realizing. I ain't getting no call for sure. I, <laughs> 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 I used, I'm just saying, like, niggas I grew up with, yeah, close with. Yeah, yeah, been, I, I know we ain't close. I used to from elementary school. I was in Oakland, though. Know, you feel me? I was close. I'm going to start calling you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I stopped doing that shit because... 
some niggas take it like you bragging. Mm. And it's like, nah, nigga, I'm excited to yeah. tell you I found it out so we could all benefit off yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, a nigga feel like, oh, they feel like they don't care because they can't see themselves doing that, mm -hmm. that you're trying to break down. So it's yeah. like, what the fuck I care for? But it's like, shit, if you got the information, it may be something that clicked one day, and you'll know. Like, now you know. It's a lot of shit that I knew before I knew I had to apply it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So a lot of people look at like, this nigga smart. Nah, I was just prepared. But, you know, if you're hungry, you don't want nobody to call you and tell you how much they're eating. Not even, not even eating, bro. I'm talking about if you, you can call a time a way to get some money. Mm-hmm. But if you're lazy, you, you don't want nobody to tell you how to work. I ain't going to ride over there. Yeah, it's, it's, it, that, that goes to the core it's root Uber's of the problem, here, though. Man. You talking about if, you ain't got no rock. If you lazy. You to come bring him some weed, though. If, if you lazy, you don't want nobody to give you a reason. You know what I mean? What you're trying to do is eliminate, not what you're trying to do, but what you're doing in those type of situations. you like, you eliminate my excuses. You feel me? You giving me some game. Now, now that I got the game, now if I don't do it, now I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. Now I got to look at myself. At like that. You feel me? That's why, you know, you can want somebody potential and you can see somebody potential. And you can be giving them all the game in the world. And they like, but I don't see that for myself. They're not going to admit that to you. They're not going to admit to you. I'm comfortable down here and you want me up here. And you keep trying to give me game and opportunities that's going to lead me up here. Right? A lot of people live in a, they live in a fantasy of their potential. They don't live in a reality. Mm. So for them, it's enough for them to think about it over and over and over. Some people got to live it. You got to experience it. I got to touch that next level. Some people just be like, I know I'm great like you. I ain't got to see it. You know what I mean? And then you are that type of person are like, nah, bro, how you go just know your greatness and not bring it out? How you gonna prove it? Mm -hmm. So you, are, I gotta prove it to myself. I gotta go taste this. Like, mm -hmm. I gotta see if this is real information and knowledge. Mm -hmm. So people can despise you when you give them too much. You know what I mean? They, it, it, it because, especially men. Bro, you just taught me a lot about myself. It's real, because I do the same thing. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a giver. And if you give to people, Right, and they're always on the receiving end. What they gonna feel like? They gonna feel like your woman. You know what I'm saying? Men want to be givers. That's part of our nature. We want to have the resources. You don't want all somebody calling you, always giving you game opportunity, and you ain't got nothing to give back in that situation. Nah, that's why you call people that are of equal pair, right, or peers, or have vision for themselves, because mm -hmm. they gonna be appreciative, because mm -hmm. they gonna use it. Then they go reciprocate, right? Whether it's through gratitude or whether they go kick you off something, be like, thank you for putting me on. No, nah, I did that with Rashad and them. Uh, I was I had a meeting with this dude from BMW who working with this NIL company or mm -hmm. whatever, and they was like talking to Morgan Stanley and all these different uh, investment bankers and shit about like coming in to talk to their students and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, them kids don't want to hear from them old ass white people. Mm -hmm. Call Rashad them, put them on the phone, they handle it now. So it's yeah. like the players y'all got don't relate to nobody at Morgan Stanley. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These is the people they gonna relate to. Like bring them in to talk yeah. to them. So I, I I get exactly what you're saying. That that shit just suck, bro. Because it's like sometimes you might want more for a nigga than they want for themselves. Nah, you can't. That's that's I've learned to scale back on that. Yeah, that I'm, I'm always, definitely learning that. That's that's always been one of my uh chief disappointments mm -hmm. in life you feel me want more for others than they want for themselves so now all i can do is help coach you for what you want for yourself mm. you know what i mean you 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 can provide exposure in the hopes that it expands a person's vision right mm. so you put them in a different convision uh dip, put them in a different condition and then they start thinking different right but that has to be an operation that happens within them Right. You can't force that on them. And the problem is when you give people game, they are now skipping the process of the type of person that can see and develop that game for themselves. Right. So it's like a person reading a book and, you know, they done read this book 10 times. They're like, every time I read this book, I get something out of it. Right. But they like, I know it's this secret code that I just don't understand in it. And here you come around and you just tell them what it is. They're going to be angry at you. 
Because now they never want to be the type of person that develops the brain to crack the code for themselves. Mm. Right? So you just spoiled them and you skip their process of development. So a lot of times when we give to others, we skip the process of development to where they can become that person. So, no, nah, you can't just give a person the answers. You can guide them towards it and see if they actually go to it. Damn. Yo, this is 19 Minute. Damn. I'm 19 Keys. And I'm sitting with one of the top American rap stars. I like of, how you said that. Of our generation. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, the most powerful thing about my brother is his ability to be multidimensional while at the same time holding this post. This post of American rapper, but then it's like this Rolodex that opens up in all these different branches. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But he's like, hey, I'm a rapper, but really, I'm everything I need to be. Yeah. And it's obvious, right? You might be on a sports show. Yeah. You might be in a movie, yeah. right? You might be in a BMW commercial, yeah. right? You might be on the next Apple unveiling of a new pro or something. Shout out to Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not something I will put beyond you. And, and what it is is it takes you out this box of expectation mm. that people would try to place you in, right? They can say, well, this is Simba. He just started, or this is Simba. He got these numbers. He not going to do this. And it's like, no, I'm Simba. I do what I want, mm -hmm. right? Based off my intelligence. Because mm -hmm. what I see is a person that knows how to strategize and know how to navigate, yes, sir. right? You know how to get into a room and you understand what we call the proper handling of people, mm -hmm. right? Everybody don't have that. My father taught me that a long time ago. Yeah. There was a literally bylaws of how you handle different people. Some people have it naturally, right? But there's a way you talk to your team. Mm -hmm. There's a way you talk to the team leader mm -hmm. versus the person that's second in command. 1,000%. Right? There's a, a, a way you talk to a boss. There's a way you talk to an opportunity. And when you can get into that room and you in that flow, right, you have so much more value because it's one of your gifts. Mm -hmm. All right? Like network and like, I'm, I'm beyond, I'm not even always that extroverted person I gotta be, it gotta be a rare night where you just catch me yeah. and I'm, I'm just golden Brilliant. tonight. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 But most of the time I'll be chill and people be wanting more out of me and I'll be like, I can't force myself because I'm gonna drain myself if I do it. Yeah. And I just be thinking and they don't be knowing what I be thinking and so they can take that the wrong way. Mm -hmm. But when I see people that got that magic, you one of them. Thank you, bro. You know what I mean? You can go into any room, light it up, we'll be known, we'll leave with three opportunities, four phone numbers, yeah. right? Yes, sir. And two of them go actualize later. Yes, sir. That is a superpower. Nah, that that comes from, I believe, uh, playing basketball, mm. right? The concept of team sports is a lot bigger than a sport, right? You really learn how to get along with different personalities and get along with different people. So I played on a basketball team where I was either always the star or I had to play with other people that was better than me, mm. right? So if I wasn't the star, I couldn't be the one that, like, sabotaged the game and be mad because old boy could shoot better than me. Mm -hmm. I had to find a way to get along with him so we could make this thing work. I'm somebody that's big on solutions and always bringing up a problem. Mm. So if it's a problem, we know it's a problem. Yeah, Let's figure out how to fix it. So the problem could have been, damn, this taking my shots. But he shoot that shot better than me. Mm. So you know what? Let me find another way to help him get that shot off. Mm. Right? So I'm always trying to extend myself to help within any room. If I'm in there, hey, man, you want a drink? Yeah. You know what I mean? If I yeah. see somebody looking sad, I'm, I'm going to try to make them laugh. You know what I mean? Because we only on this thing called a planet for so long. Mm. And while we here, it's like we might as well enjoy it. It, it's no point of us just running around mad all day or we all go through shit now yeah. our days but it's like if you can do something to make somebody smile or uplift somebody or as you just said guide them to what it is they may want to do i've always been that type of person yeah that's that's what we call servant leadership you know what i'm saying and like i said that if 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 you could teach a master class on that yeah. right it'll benefit people right life path mm. tremendously because you can have, I look at wealth, right? And I break it down. And a lot of people think about wealth. They think about, you know, financial assets, right? Things that's going to give you this benefit and reward. But there's a lot of people with financial assets that lack the human assets, 
right, that lack those human traits. So they walk in a the room, they're not a really a good speaker, mm -hmm. right? So now they're going to miss out on all the opportunities that come with being a good speaker, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. But they got some money. Right. But how many corn balls we know with money? Mm -hmm. Right. So now that becomes a liability. They lack of being able to communicate. Yeah. Right. Yeah.